What's up guys? It's early morning here and I'm at the Salt River. And the reason I'm talking a little bit more quietly is because I'm right near some Salt River horses. A beautiful group of three or four horses. They're right now hiding behind some trees. But they are stunning creatures and I'm using my 70 to 300 lens to try to zoom in there, not make too much noise, and try to capture them. There's not so much light to work with here. So I bumped up my ISO to like 320, I might go even higher, so that I can hand hold the shots and not have to figure out a tripod. There's a few adult horses and one baby horse and they're just very peaceful and being very gentle right now just kind of grazing on some of the grasses so the pictures I'm getting are not very actiony for lack of a better word but I don't want to get too close I don't want to scare them off I want to let them be as is just kind of view their behavior from out here uh, they are stunning creatures and my original goal was to head up a hill to an overview of the Salt River area. I'll probably still go up there but I'll hang around here a little bit more try to get some more horse shots. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to happen. I was hoping but you just you never know. different not just them with their heads down feeding maybe they're shaking their heads around or they're looking at me or interacting with each other something more interesting but the key is to have patience Alright, so I didn't just come here for the horses. I also came here for a nice viewpoint of the Salt River and the Goldfield Mountains in the distance. Last time I was here, I was right up against those cliffs, taking wide angle shots and panoramas. This time around, I'm a little bit further back on the top of a hill 
and I had to hike a little bit to get up here. But the views of the Goldfield Mountains and the Salt River in the distance cannot be missed. Check it out. So all the way down there, those are the Goldfield Mountains. And that's the river. I don't know if you could see it. The river is being lit up a little bit by the reflection of the sky. The last time I shot, right there at the edge of the river. Four peaks are in the distance back here. And this is a beautiful viewpoint. And I wanted to give those horses a little bit of a break from me. So, about spent about 10, 15 minutes here. And uh, I'm gonna try to start heading back to where the horses were. See if they're still there. Still haven't gotten that one shot that I think is unique in any way. And I don't know if that's gonna happen this morning. But just being around them is really awesome experience. <laughs> Wow, what an awesome experience that was with those horses. I don't know if I got any good shots or not. That's, that's the issue. Um, I'm definitely not a wildlife photographer by any means, but I'll get back to the computer and hopefully something turned out to be interesting and more importantly, in focus, because that's the difficult part. In regard to the actual landscape photography, in terms of those cliffs by the Salt River with that overlook, I think it's a really cool spot. I don't know if I was on the right hill. Um, I think I'll probably have to come back another time. Preferably near sunset, not sunrise, because at sunset, those cliffs light up. Right now, when it's sunrise, or actually now the sun is well up, but when I was back there by sunrise, it was difficult to get a good shot because everything interesting in that scene, like those cliffs and the river, they were all in shadow and you want your subject to be highlighted, not dark, as opposed to other things in the scene. So, I'll probably come back here another time closer to sunset and try to scramble up a different hill that will give me a more balanced scene and a better vantage point. So we'll try that another time. But for now, that's all for this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy those horses and you enjoy what I'm doing out here, Give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, let me know what you think, and I will catch you on my next adventure. Till next time, out.